Welcome to Arguing Art. I'm Adam Sterner. And I'm Micah Luke. And in this episode... Is that dramatic enough? And it, I'm Micah Luke. Almost. almost. I think you were like three degrees less dramatic three, than okay. you should be. And I'm Micah Luke. Excellent. Uh, in this series on money, 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 we are discussing today commissioned art. Commissioned art. Is it art? Is it craft? Is it selling out? You be the judge. Actually, we'll all be the judge together. <laughs> um, I don't know. What it's it's a tough. I mean, it's a concept. Well, it know. is. Um, commissioned art is when somebody else is hiring an artist to create a work for them, whether it's a self-portrait yep. or a portrait of landscape or a piece for their living room that goes over the fireplace perfectly. Right, right. Uh, you know, I think the big thing uh, that you have to be careful about is not painting all commissioned art with the, with the same brush. You okay. know what I'm saying? Um, you know, an argument for commissioned art being art is that it is still possible for the artist to inject himself or to express something based off of, um, you know, whatever the, the, the uh, commission was, you know, and, and there are varying degrees of commission too. You know, okay. I've had uh, very stringent demands on my commission that we, we want this with that, with this and these colors. And then I've had, I just want this concept. And then I came up with concepts that meant something to me. So it is very possible to me, uh, or for me as an artist, to express something uh, within a commission piece. So you're injecting part of yourself or something that you're intending someone else to experience a feeling into a work, even though it's originated for someone else. Exactly. And it's not your um, traditional process of working through art. Famous commission piece, Sistine Chapel. Got paid to do it. The yeah. da David. Statue of David was commissioned piece. Widely regarded as art. Mona Lisa. Well. Widely Mona regarded Lisa. as commissioned piece uh, and art. Mm-hmm. So what's an argument against that then, against an, commission? An argument against commissioned art would be having somebody else bring up the idea or the concept for the piece would prevent the artist from being the originator, creator, or yep. actually you know, having it be art at all. It's somebody else's idea, somebody else's baby, and it's being made purely for the moolah, the money, money, money. Hey, but fish got to swim, birds got to fly. Artists gotta eat, you know. It's not selling to me. It's not selling out because I gotta pay my bills. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, I think a, on both sides of that. Yes. Like the, the pieces I was referring to, uh, you know, I did one where it was brushwork, and I'm primarily spray paint. Okay. We picked the colors based off of what was gonna go good in the living room, and uh, and it turned out to be a good piece, but I had no emotional content in there for me. Okay. There was symbolism in there, but the symbolism was kind of cold and calculating. Like, okay, I'm going to okay. do this because this is what they want to get across, you know. So that, could that be commission or could that be art? Because I still expressed something with it. Sure. But it wasn't quite as from me, you know, it wasn't sure. quite me in there. On the flip side, uh, I did a woman's back, which I do a lot of uh, f figures of women, right? Okay. Um, but I still would not have chosen to do that painting had they not said, this is the drawing we want to go with and this is how we want to change it. Okay. So then the question is, when a commission piece is brought up and the artist is not the one originating the idea of producing it, can this piece still be a work of art? That is a tough question. I know what I think. You know what you think. Yep. And much like the craftsman who is blowing their perfect glass vase, hammering their perfect mm -hmm. sword, is the commission of it changing the nature of the, uh, the object itself? Is it just craft? You know, it's a good uh, question. Let's talk about this in the comment section because we're running short on time already. Um, could it be that the artist of a commission piece, especially when it's really stringent like that, like, uh, you know, the one where I said we're... Picked, she picked all the colors and whatnot. Um, could it be that the person hiring the piece done is the artist? 
and the person actually doing the painting, the artist doing the painting, is just another tool for the commissioned person. You know what I mean? Human Photoshop, if you will. Exactly. Hmm. Plus, talk about all the other stuff we talked about, too. <laughs> Thanks for watching.